What's going on, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. There may not be any live sports going on, but social media is giving us a lot of content from the sports world. BYU men's basketball had a season straight out of a movie. So we should probably make that a mini movie. And it's time to welcome BYU's newest position coach. Let's go. Thank goodness for social media, because it's how I get to talk to you guys and bring some sports into our lives. There's been a lot of great content in the BYU world and the sports world on social media. So let's get to it. Let's start with the big news. BYU football posted yesterday that Harvey Unga has been hired as the new running backs coach. Harvey spent four years as a grad assistant coach for BYU's offense. And let's not forget that prior to that, he balled out as a running back here too. He is the only BYU player to rush for 1,000 yards in three consecutive seasons. Let's get a highlight to celebrate. And we'll block the sweet pitch to Unga. Congrats to Harvey from me and all of BYU, past and present. In fact, former BYU running back coach AJ Stewart took to Twitter sharing that Harvey is the best man for the job. Others joined in, including Fessy Satake and Jack DeMooney. Actually, since I brought up Jack DeMooney, I think it's time I bring up this TikTok of him and his family that's gotten a lot of attention. <laughs> That's one way to rep BYU. It's honestly just fun to watch that. What hasn't been fun is no NCAA March Madness. I think this BYU dude with a sign summed up how most of us are feeling right now. He's right. This is not the March Madness we were asking for, but it has been madness. Things have gotten real wild, including this challenge from soccer players around the world. This isn't BYU related, at least it isn't yet. But come on, that's just awesome. Mm, not that one, not that one. Oh, all right. Mm, that's enough of that. Toilet paper is a rarity right now, so that's enough of that. Now it's still hard for me to talk about the end of the season, but we're gonna do it. We're continuing to highlight different sports each episode. And today, I want to focus on the men's basketball season because their season was straight out of a movie. Without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Mark Pope. We will be relentless every minute, every day, 24-7. I think we put together a staff that will do BYU men's basketball extraordinarily proud. I owe it to this school. I owe it to these guys over here, my teammates, to come back and do something amazing. And I just want to go all out and make something special happen for BYU. I refuse to not let this be a magical season. Nine games isn't going to stop that. BYU basketball senior forward Zach Selyus broke his foot. His injury requires surgery, and we're hearing reports that he's expected to be out for 10 to 12 weeks. BYU basketball sophomore forward Gavin Baxter suffered a shoulder injury during the opening week of practice. And they're like, okay, so this is going to be four to six months for the entire season. I'm a little over a month out from surgery and you know I'm working my way back into practice. Just finished up with practice and got worried that my waiver came through. I'm excited Woo! to see it out this year. Let's go baby. Pulls up, fades away. Yes, yes you go! 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 Nice steal by Charles. It's the index finger on his right hand. He dislocated it on Tuesday at practice. Pulls it out the tools of tools and quiet and uh oh, oh no. This just looks terrible. It is his ankle. It's just Mark, it's just one thing after another this year. Jake Toolson is going to come back in the game. Block at 10 for three. Pause. Good! The debut of Gavin Baxter. Connor will drive it. Stop in the post. Hand up to Yo! And the two hand hammer! That's how you do it! The Cougs are going to win it! Jordan Ford for the win! Got it! It's not a bad loss, 
uh, I think that this is still a team that a lot of teams are not going to want to face in the NCAA tournament. The NCAA announced all remaining winter and spring NCAA championships have been canceled. I never got the chance to take my uniform off for the last time. I never got a chance to walk off with my brothers. There's no closure. Uh, I still struggle with that ending. You know what, for our sakes, let's make an alternate ending. Next up on the board on this selection Sunday, the Cougars of BYU. I like BYU as my sleeper pick to make it to Atlanta. National runners up, BYU basketball. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Stay healthy, stay home as much as possible. Keep washing those hands. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.